In this video, we're going to compare different Tamri cements and see which one performs the best. So like a lot of people, I've been curious about different plastic cements and which one works the best. So I picked a selection of Tamiya paints, um, Tamiya cements even, which you can see here, and Revels in every model shop you can find, so that seemed a good a good basis to work from. This is sort of this is the base that when everyone's going to get hold of no problem. And then depending on your hobby shop, maybe you can get some of the others. And the the extra things are very popular. It's what's usually recommended to people. So that was the one I was going to test the most. It's also the one I've actually used the most. See the bottles down near empty. So the ones we have here we have tell me your extra thin quick setting, tell me your extra thin cement. Tammy is smelt with a white lid and Tammy is smelt with an orange lid and then just Revel Contactor. Now I don't know if these are the same things in different sized jars. They're the only bottles which say poison on them specifically. So I assume they're probably the same thing in the same jar but because I had both they were in different jars I thought I'd give them a test and see. So we're going to first take a look at the extra thin. Now the extra thin itself, it dries very, very quickly. We're talking 20, 30 seconds at most. And unfortunately you can see for the bond, it's not very strong. It snaps very easily. It didn't really bond with the plastic at all. And this is just standard plastic card. And this is just a piece of sprue I cut off from a, a War Games factory model. So that didn't bond at all. I would consider this complete junk. If you want a very temporary bond, just for say fitting arms, so you get a gun positioned correctly, maybe I'd use this, but that'd be its only use. Otherwise, I'd just not bother with it. So we'll get rid of that one. Next up, we have the extra thin cement, and this takes off a minute to two minutes to set up. And this has got some give to it. It's not. It's stuck enough where unless you're throwing your models around, it shouldn't be a problem. I can. Even then, I can break it, but even then it's, you can see underneath it's left a very, very good blob where the two have merged. You can see the mix in there, the brown and the white. So it's not, it's not weak, but it's not really strong either. If I was just building for display, I'd happily use it. So next one is the Tamiya cement itself. And here, you can see the first difference compared to the thin ones. While the thin ones left the the plastic intact. This you can see a very a very obvious circle where the the plastic itself was actually moulded with the the sheet plastic. You can see a rim and this takes some real effort to get it to separate. You can see the bond there's much much deeper. There is actually a slight rim where the plastic glue uh, stuck up but if you're applying it just to two parts, maybe that's something you'll like, so it'll join it in a bit more. So far, Tamu Cement's the better one. Finally, we'll try the orange one. And that seems a little bit weaker, but had a very similar bond. Uh, I wouldn't say there's a massive difference in the two. I had to pull this one a bit harder, but this also had a pretty strong bond where it didn't just snap off immediately. I'd say that's that's an okay glue to use, it's what I usually use and you can see it has the same rim but not as strong a bonding as the white one had so if these are the same things this somehow applied better than that when they were both given pretty much the same amount of of glue on each piece so I wouldn't say that's a bad glue but I think this will form a stronger bond so far and finally we have Revel Contactor and this was hard to get a new a, a fair coat on because it comes in a needle. See, there's a needle on the end you apply. I actually took that out so I could get a decent amount of stuff on it and applied what I thought was about the same amount. So for this, which is has the same bonding as the Revel as the Tamiya did, but you can also see it does go slightly up the piece as well. There is a very slight um, rim where the glue's actually gone up the the sprue and left a slight raised area. You can just fill it with your thumbnail. But bond wise, it's about the same as the orange one was. You can see there it's not bonded quite as well on the actual card. 
as this Tamiya one did, the white lid. But it's still done a reasonably good job if you don't mind that room, which as you can hear that, you can obviously see it where it's see I'm clearly now it's getting stuck on it. So it's clearly something slightly riding up with this one as opposed to the other ones. So looking at these five different um five different cements. I would probably recommend this one. This seemed to have the best bond. It didn't have any of the creep of the Revel. And it's got a nice big brush to apply. If you've got a very small piece, you're still going to want the extra thin cement. Because this will dissolve things too fast. But if you're applying a larger piece, I would definitely recommend the white lidded Tamiya cement. So let's look at our cements. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing below. And if you would like to support the channel, there's a coffee link in the video description below, where all donations are greatly appreciated and will go towards future projects.